Knee-jerk reaction is fight or flight First sign of color, I run and hide But you came like rain on a summer night And I think you're rewiring my mind I've been taking cover under my skin But I want to step outside and take it all in Baby, it's like a light storm To be yours Thunder crash until the sky's torn You're like a light storm A light storm Ashley, I knew you were special when we were planning our first date. You were so accommodating and just wanted to have a new adventure with me. And, you know, we hadn't known each other very long at that time, but you just made me feel like I was so important. And, you know, I know it's like one of your real special <laughs> gifts, that you make people feel so important. And like, I'm so glad that I can be important in your life. You know, you know, you're just so selfless in our relationship. Always trying to make sure that we do what's best for me, even sometimes when it isn't what you want to do. And I just, I love that about you. I just want to make you so happy. <laughs> um, I remember when we were standing on Trolltunga and it was so beautiful. And I looked back at you and I thought, nothing can compare <laughs> to how beautiful you are and how beautiful our relationship is. Just love each other so much. And I just, you're just amazing. You're so kind and considerate to everyone. And you're determined and dedicated in everything you do you have the most beautiful smile that makes me warm, that warms me even on my coldest, most trying days. Since we have met, life has thrown us many challenges. And even though it hasn't been easy, it's always been easier with you by my side. I know that you're there supporting me when I need it. And I hope you always feel comfortable leaning into me and in the times that you need support. Every night I go to bed with you by my side, I'm excited about the morning and waking up next to you. And now, today, I get to look forward to the rest of my life, waking up with you. I love you. Neil, today as we stand here surrounded by love and the promise of a lifetime together and filled with overwhelming gratitude for you, it is a privilege to become your wife. In your presence, I found a kind, handsome, extraordinarily intelligent partner who has touched my heart in the most profound ways. You once sent me a song with lyrics that said, you wish you would have met me sooner so you could love me longer. I feel the same, except that by going through difficult times before you entered my life, it made me appreciate you so much more. God brought you to me in his own perfect timing. I will forever cherish the memory of the day you proposed on Trolltunga in Norway, as we stood on the edge of the cliff overlooking the the breathtaking beauty that surrounded us, you took my hand and made a promise that changed our lives forever. In that moment, I realized how lucky I am to have found someone who not only supports my thirst for adventure, but feels like home to me. Our love is built on a foundation of trust, respect, and deep understanding of one another. 
You listen without judgment to truly understand my thoughts and feelings. You've created a safe space where I can be myself. And for that, I am eternally grateful. Together, we have faced challenges and celebrated triumphs, always standing united. Our ability to work hand in hand, supporting and understanding one another is a testament to the strength of our bond. Your unwavering support and partnership has taught me the true meaning of love. As we stand here surrounded by the blessings of our loved ones, I vow to honor and cherish you every day of our lives. I promise to be your unwavering support and your biggest cheerleader. Celebrating your triumphs and comforting you in difficult times. Together, we can face anything. With you by my side, we'll create a lifetime of happiness, love, and adventure. Today, I pledge my heart, my soul, and my unwavering devotion to you. <laughs> I love you. Thank you for the beautiful words. Of course, man. Need your reaction is fight or flight. First sign of color, I run and hide. But you came like rain on a summer night. And I think you're rewiring my mind. I've been taking cover under my skin. But I want to step outside and take it all in Cause baby, it's like a light storm To be yours Thunder crash until the sky is torn You're like a light storm A light storm Can I get everybody's attention, please? We're going to, uh, I'm going to read a little thing here to my beautiful daughter. So, uh, I won't make you cry. Well, yeah, I will, probably. I'm David Small. I am the father of this beautiful bride. And this is Karen, the mother of this beautiful bride. And I'd like to welcome everybody here to this celebration. Uh, in this beautiful wedding that took place today. Ashley and Neil have spent a lot of time preparing for this wedding and getting everything lined up. Uh, so great job for, for them for doing that. And it has a lot of meaning, uh, meaning for them. It also has a lot of meaning for uh, mom and dad too. So uh, we're so proud of you, Ashley. I can't even be, begin to tell you uh, how proud I am. Your mom and I are so happy that you have found such a wonderful partner in Neil. Uh, your mom prayed that you would actually find somebody very special, and you did. And it was during the pandemic, of all things. So, um, all I've ever wanted, or we've ever wanted, was for you to find a man who would make you happy. Uh, someone who would appreciate you, your kindness, thoughtfulness, love of travel, sense of adventure, 
and love of family. You have found that man and life partner in Neil. From the first time I met Neil, I could see how happy uh, he made you and the affection that you showed each other. I saw how thoughtful and kind Neil was towards you. I thought, and your mother did too, Neil was the one for you. So you two have so much in common. You enjoy being together. You enjoy doing all many activities that you guys like to do together. And shockingly, Neil got Ashley to fish. <laughs> Something I've been trying to do since she was two. <laughs> Ashley got Neil involved in water sports. And uh, the first time I, I pulled him behind our boat and a knee board, he was up the first time. And he's only fell a few times hot dogging. You know? <laughs> Otherwise, I'd pull him around the lake 10 times. He'd probably never fall off once. Barb and Rusty, uh, you've raised a great man. It was very special when Neil took me to dinner and asked permission to marry Ashley. And uh, welcome to our family, Neil. The future holds great things. The future holds great things for the two of you. Hopefully after this month, you'll be done selling homes and moving. <laughs> because you're following in your dad's footsteps and I'm way too old to keep doing this. So, so my advice, always communicate with each other. You may not always agree with your spouse, but one thing, never go to bed mad at each other. Always make up for it. And never forget why you love each other. Advice for Neil? Wish I had this advice when uh, we married 42 years ago. During our marriage, I was surrounded at home by women. Three daughters, a wife, and a cat named Sassy, who was also a female. <laughs> so. Oh, we had a dog, too, and named Misty. It was a female, too. So I have a special gift for you, Neil. Some special insight that I have acquired uh, over the years. So this little thing we're going to give you here, hang this where you have easy access to it. Refer to it as needed. And I'll ask Karen to assist me here. This is called the five deadly terms used by a woman. <laughs> Number one. The first word is fine. <laughs> this is the word when uh, the women used to end an argument when she knows she is right and you need to shut up. <laughs> Number two. Nothing. Means something and you need to be worried. <laughs> number, th number three. Go ahead. This is a dare, not permission. <laughs> Don't do it. And number four. Whatever. It's a woman way of saying, screw you. <laughs> and number five. It's okay. She's thinking long and hard on how and when you will pay for your mistake. <laughs> Love you. Uh, I'm Rusty Paulson, Neil's dad, and uh, I'm happy and that everybody can make it here that's here, and I welcome you here. It's a great honor to have so many people here that uh, represent Neil's past and his life. Um, <clears throat> there's people here from his childhood School, uh, Sunday school teachers and coaches and a lot of positive people that have had positive influence on Neil's life. Um, his, <clears throat> besides his both sets of grandparents also I think had great uh, influences, positives on his, his life and <clears throat> we're well, we are happy to have all of you here to enjoy this great time together and Ashley we are, Barb and I are so happy to have you join our family. Thank you. <clears throat> Ashley, you came at just the perfect time, right during the pandemic. It was a great, great timing to come to 
into our lives. So <clears throat> with that, I would like to offer a toast to them for a great future together. Good evening, everyone. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Brian Paulson, Neil's brother and the best man for this evening. I remember the day Neil was born. It was Easter morning, which probably made things a lot more hectic for the grown-ups. I remember sitting on the couch and finding an Easter egg under the couch cushion I was sitting on. I don't remember meeting Neil later that day, but I'm sure I was just as excited as Carter has been to meet his new brother, Owen. Carter, my nephew. Growing up, we did normal kid things. We played together. We fought together. We stayed up way too late talking in our bunk beds together. We joined 4-H together, where we showed dairy cattle and played softball on the same team. When we were a little older, we started a business together. We called it Little Sprouts, and with plenty of prompting from my mom and dad, we dug and split hostas and other perennials growing in our yard to sell at the farmer's market. Around that same time, I started a landscaping business. I ran it through my four years of high school and handed it off to Neil when I went to college. Coincidentally, he was able to hand it back to me when I found myself between jobs a few years later. In March 2020, Neil bought a truck with the intent to rent it out on uh, my Turo business. Turo is like Airbnb for cars. A few weeks later, uh, we learned about the pandemic, but the truck was one of the best renting vehicles for that year. This is how I found myself talking to Neil about cars late in 2020. The truck had been so successful on Turo that Neil had hardly had a chance to drive it. Instead, he was driving his old Ford Focus with 300,000 miles. The brakes hadn't gone out yet at that point. We were discussing cars, and Neil kept mentioning that while this car or that car might work for right now, things could change. The things can, could change comment at the time felt a little abstract, but a few months later when I met Ashley, things started to come together. Neil's life has changed a lot since those conversations about cars. He sold the truck, and just over a year ago, he proposed to Ashley in grand style, and she said yes. More recently, Ashley and Neil have bought and sold three houses as they consolidate their residences. <laughs> It seems like the th only thing that hasn't changed is that old Ford Focus. He did fix the brakes. I think after the moving boxes are unpacked, Neil might be in the market for a new car. Over the years, Neil and I have been partners on the playground and partners in business. And I'm excited to see Neil and Ashley taking this new partnership together. I know they're going to have a long and happy life. You're both amazing people, and you deserve all the happiness in the world. Ashley, welcome to the family. You look beautiful tonight, and we're so glad to have you. Please raise your glasses to Ashley and Neil, to new cars and new beginnings, <laughs> to new adventures and a lifetime of happiness. Yeah. Hello, everybody. Many of you know me, many of you don't. I am the infamous Kiki, Ashley's cousin. Um, I'm going to keep this short, sweet, and sassy like the bridal party over here. Um, I have known Ashley her whole life, all 25 years of it. And although time has definitely put physical distance between us, we always seem to pick right back up where we left off when we're together. I am not an emotional person, but I really want to get this right for her. Okay. Um, I am just really happy that Ashley is not superstitious. She knows where I'm going with this. Because we do not have a great track record when it comes to safety. Between the broken nose, broken leg, and perhaps the longest wooden staircase I've ever seen somebody fall down, <laughs> I was still invited to this wedding and was allowed to sit next to her up here. I really thought that maybe I was the bad influence until the bridal party, who I've gotten to know, reassured me that 
there were many, many situations in her college years that seemingly only Ashley could find herself in. <laughs> and when I was thinking about this, I was also thinking that this really reminds me of Ash and Neil's first date, where somehow she lost her phone in the wilderness <laughs> and scared him half to death when she said, you don't understand, if I don't call my family and friends, they will find you. <laughs> So no matter where you are or what you're doing, you know you're going to make some memorable moments with Ashley. <laughs> um, so despite all the sticky situations that I may or may have not gotten Ashley into, I was so honored when Ashley took my advice about dating. My advice was just buy a husband on the internet like a normal person. <laughs> Mine cost around $250, <laughs> a few awkward dates, but five stars would marry again. Um, Abby, Noel, Amanda, and I are so happy that they found each other through the magic of Coffee Meets Bagel, and I was trying to decide who was coffee and who was bagel, and I was told this morning that Neil is very clearly the bagel. <laughs> Uh, but all that being said, there are a few things that uh, the bridal party and I think are very important for you to know, Neil, to be successful in your relationship with Ashley. Number one, there is walking fast, and there is Ashley in the airport walking fast. <laughs> and it doesn't matter if your flight leaves in five hours, she will drag you at the speed of light. <laughs> Number two, Ashley has a birthday month, not a day. <laughs> but luckily, it's the shortest month of the year. <laughs> Number three, always be photo ready. <laughs> and number four, stay agile for the numerous changes in ever, or it, to support her in ever-changing hobbies. There are also a few people that I uh, asked for some advice, the matriarchs of our family. So between Gert, Shirley, and what they thought Geneva might tell you, they said, always be yourselves, stay calm even in challenging times, and love each other. I can't even see, I'm crying so much. <laughs> So I will close by saying, Neil, welcome to the wildest Scandinavian family you will ever meet. So with that, please raise your glasses and join me in toasting this wonderful couple who so deserves to be with each other. I love you. I love you so much. God, you're even making me cry. <laughs> Oh, oh my God. <laughs> I did it. Then you crash into the sky's torn. You're like a light storm, a light storm.
Baby, it's like a light storm to be yours. Feelings flooding through the front door.